Hi guys, let's now look at this simple example. Uh, so my question is asking the same question. What is the minimum cost to produce Q units of output uh, where the production function is minimum of 2K comma 3L. So this is K um, and, and where the input prices are one and one for both goods. All right. So again, what's going to be the cost of producing Q units of output? All right. So what do I do? Well, I mean, if you remember our earlier discussion, because this is a Leon TF production function, the optimality implies, always implies, uh, I need to choose 2K equals 3L as my input combination. All right. So that's going to be my uh, it's equation one. So equation one is 2K equals 3L. What is my equation two? I want to produce Q units of output, which is equal to my F of KL, right? Which is equal to a minimum of 2K 3L. All right. So how can I solve these two equations? Well, simple. Whenever you see 2K, just plug 3L. So I have 2K here. I'm going to plug 3L. So that's going to be minimum of uh, 3L comma 3L, but you know, minimum of 3L basically. So it's just 3L. So this is equal to quantity. And so that means L is equal to Q divided by 3. Remember the optimal solution was L as a function of Q, which I got it. So how can I find the K then? So what is KQ? So the optimal uh, quantity for capital. Well, simple. Uh, 2K must be equal to 3L. So if L is equal to Q over 3 multiplied by 3, so those 3s will cancel out. So I'm going to have Q. And so divide both sides by 2. So that means capital is equal to Q divided by 2. All right. So that means if you want to produce, uh, for example, 6 units of quantity, you have to use 2 units of labor and 3 units of uh, capital. If you want to produce Q, for example, 100 units of uh, output, well, you have to choose 100 divided by 3 units of labor and 100 un divided by 2 or 50 units of capital. All right. OK, so the next is, well, very simple. What is the minimum cost to produce Q units of output? Well, remember, the cost is equal to, for simplicity, we ignored the fixed costs. So the cost is R times K of Q plus um, um, uh, W times L of Q. So what is R? It's 1. So it's 1 times K of Q is equal to Q over 2 plus W is also 1 times Q over 3. So therefore, the cost, which is only a function of Q now, because uh, I know the value of R, I know the value of W. So it's equal to uh, Q divided by 2 plus Q divided by 3, or simply put, Q, uh, C of Q is equal to 5Q divided by 6. All right. So now I kind of, if somebody asks me, what is the cost of producing, for example, six units of output? Well, it's $5. All right. Um, I basically skip this step of saying how much labor, how much uh, capital I need. Uh, but I just relate directly the number of outputs to the, uh, you know, the, the, the cost that I will have to uh, spend or pay. OK, so that's how we find the optimal cost function uh, for this producer or the minimum cost to produce Q units of output if this is the technology. If you change the technology or the Q function, uh, for example, very, very quick example. So let's say Q is equal to uh, K squared of K plus squared of L. All right. So it's not really Cobb Douglas. Uh, again, R is one, W is one. How are we going to solve this? Well, this is simpler. Why is so? Because again, from the utility theory, you may remember this function is differentiable. Uh, I mean, the 
the level curve of this function is differentiable. And so I can actually use the Lagrangian. Right? You can either use Lagrangian or directly skip this step and say MRTS equals minus R divided by W. All right? Either way would work. So I'm going to uh, not skip the Lagrangian. I'm going to do it in the long way. But again, you can skip it. So the Lagrangian is basically the following. Uh, the minimize the cost, which is 1 times uh, k plus 1 times r, uh, l, I'm sorry, uh, because this is the price of capital, this is the price of labor, um, plus lambda uh, q minus square root of k minus square root of l. All right, so del l del k is equal to what? When you take the partial derivative with respect to k, it's going to be 1 minus lambda uh, one half times uh, square root of k because k to the power minus one half so it's basically uh, two to the two times square root of k equals zero. When I take the partial derivative with respect to l, it's going to be one minus lambda divided by two square root of l equals zero. And when I take the partial derivative with respect to lambda, it's going to be q minus square root of k minus square root of l equals zero. So remember, I don't care about lambda, so I'm going to get rid of lambda. How I can do that? Well, simple. Lambda equals uh, 2 square root of k, and also lambda equals 2 square root of l. So just set them equal. That means 2's will cancel out. Square root of k equals square root of l. Uh, take the square root of both sides, k equals l. All right? And then use this q equals square root of k plus square root of l, uh, which means, remember, k must be equal to l. We found it from the first two conditions. So that means whenever you, I see l, I'm going to put k. So this is 2 square root of k equals q. So that means k equals, divide both sides by q, q divided by 2, and take the square of both sides. This is how much k I am going to use. And what about labor? So this is k of q. What about L of Q? Well, K is equal to L, so therefore it's going to be Q divided by 2 squared. All right, so the input levels are completely different uh, from the previous example, obviously, because your technology is different. Well, finally, uh, so these are the optimal input levels. What is the cost function? Well, simple. So the cost is, remember, uh, R times K plus r times uh, uh, l. So k is equal to q squared divided by 4, and l is also the same, q squared divided by 4. So therefore, cost, which is a function of q, is equal to q squared divided by 2. So exactly the same question, I mean the same input levels, not the same question, the same input uh, prices, I'm sorry, but totally different production function gives me totally different cost function. For example, here, the marginal cost is 5 over 6. Here, however, the marginal cost is a function of q, all right? Uh, meaning here, the cost function is something like this, all right? So this is c of q. So this is q, this is cost. But in the previous example, my cost function is a straight line, something like this, okay? Um, so that's it.